Hey everyone, welcome back to Web Squadron. I'm Imran Sadiq. And the question that has been asked on the Elemental forums is Can I create a LMS or a learning management system website selling courses or learning management basically using Elemental? And there's tons of stuff out there Lifter LMS, Tutor LMS, uh, LearnPress, Tutorful, da 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 da. And I went through loads of them about six weeks ago. I spent about two weeks researching into them. And what I found was some of them were free. Some of them you gotta pay for, as a, like a subscription model or a one-off payment. Some of them have some elemental add-ons. Some of them have some customization. Some of them have loads, loads of features that I need or don't need, whatever. But the one thing I kept coming back to was the level of customization was limited. And I might be able to put the course in a certain place or maybe modify the layout like with Tutor LMS, which is really, really good. But you could only really do it on the actual product or the course page where you're advertising it. When you then get into the course and you want to, um, you know, um, uh, lay out your videos or your PDFs or your content, you're restricted. You have to now follow the schema and the layout of the plugin. And that really annoyed me because sometimes it just wasn't what I was after. And that's because on our website that I hope you can see here on Web Squadron, we have some courses. And the way it works is we have a supercharge and a create your website in one weekend. I'm not advertising, by the way. I'm just going to show you what we did, okay? So if I go to create your website in one weekend, we have a video. By the way, all of our videos for our course, we use Presto Player. Yes, Presto Player is, I think, $69 a year. Yes, you gotta pay money for it, but it means that my video here, you can't right click and inspect the URL of that video. You can't go and steal it from somewhere, it is secure. And our videos are not stored on WordPress or even YouTube, because you can find a video on YouTube if you look hard enough. Um, it's all done on BunnyNet. Uh, BunnyNet, there is a cost, uh, but it's a very minimal, tiny cost. And if you're selling courses or a learning program, the money you make there will more than enough wipe out whatever the cost for BunnyNet is. So consider BunnyNet, consider Presto Player. Sorry, and I'm not affiliated to them, by the way. Anyway, look, when you go in to use our website, okay, if you like what you see and you decide to purchase it, you click the link and it will take you to a page. I'm obviously logged in, so that's why it's saying that, but if I wasn't logged in, I will then get a checkout instantly to say, right, check out, pay for this, and when you're checked out, you're gonna get an email, it will give you a link that will then allow you to go in and actually access the website. It's probably not gonna work for me because I haven't got access to it, but obviously, I mean, I'm admin, but I haven't given myself reasons. Reasons, I haven't given myself access unless I go into my page, which I will do for you in a minute, just hang on. But in terms of the flow from selecting the course to paying for the course to then getting access within your email, you click the link, it takes you in, and you can go away and do the course. It is very fluid. Is that even the right word? It is very streamlined, okay? It works really simply. But the thing I really want to get across, okay? I'm rubbish at getting things across. This page here where I'm advertising the course is all elemental. I mean, that is Presto Player there for the video, but this is elemental. Elemental button. Elemental, 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 you know, whatever, elemental. I, I can design it how I want. I don't have to now get a plugin for the LMS, then get a plugin for, oh, I wanna do a bit in elemental. Oh, I gotta either purchase or get another add-on. And then I'm limited without using a bit of CSS coding or whatever, or employing someone to make it very bespoke. No, I can do whatever I want here. Yeah. Was that, was that excited enough? Okay, I will come on to how I've done this. The other thing also is I have a login button here, button, login link, and it allows me to go to my account, to my profile, and if I've purchased a course, it will be there. If I've purchased two courses, both courses will be there. You click the button, whatever, it takes you to the course. You can access it and do what you want. So how did I do all of this? Because at the minute, it's just with Elemental and Presto Player and BunnyNet, but that's just for the video bit. I used a free plugin called, let's just close that, Paid Memberships Pro. 
but Paid Memberships Pro is free. There are add-ons that you can pay for if you want to get a bit more of a full-blown, like, you know, membership product. But I didn't need that. Paid Memberships Pro, totally free. What does it do? I'm not going to go into members and orders for obvious reasons because it's got members details. But what happens is you, you, load, you, you add the plugin, okay? It will then say to you, add course or add membership. It will bring you to this page. You then click add new level and then you add your level. So I've created two because my two membership levels are my two courses. I could have added in a free membership as well. When you do this, um, when you set it up, you can actually, if I just go into here, edit, you can define what is the course. Sorry, what is the payment? Is it a one-off payment? Is it a recurring subscription payment? So you could have a monthly membership going on here or a one-off payment. And you can have different levels. You could have like one-off payment, which renews each month or whatever. Or a, no, one-off would not be renew. One-off would be you get access for 30 days and then you would obviously get rid of them or, or there'd be an expiry date. Or you could have a 30 pounds a month recurring membership. It is up to you. Um, and all you're gonna do is put in your header. You don't need to do a description. You can have a confirmation message. So I created a template which had my particular message. You know, thank you. Here's a few more details, blah, 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 blah. So stick it in as a template rather than just a text editor. Put my cost in, one-off payment, boom, 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 job done. Uh, your payment gateway, I've set it up with PayPal. Again, totally free, job done. Um, pages, this is where I didn't do anything here. Because once you use Paid Membership Pro, and I will show you in a moment, that's all you gotta do. Set it up, decide your payment gateway, put your cost in, and then the only other thing I did was for Paid Memberships Pro, the, there are some free add-ons, there are some you gotta pay for, but the only add-on I went for was hide the admin bar from non-admins. You just activate it, install and activate, and that's it. What that means is when a user uh, pays for a course or uses our website, uses what well, the website to access a course, they're not going to see this at the top, okay? Which isn't the end of the world, but for security reasons and cleanliness and just the way it looks on the website, they will now not see this black bar, okay? Pretty simple, yeah? Okay, now, Paid Membership Pro. So we have set up two um membership levels again you could have had freebie you could have had one-offs you can have as many levels as you want gold silver bronze whatever you want to call it platinum jedi master you go for it okay right so if i now go to my pages right here is where the course was so there you go create your website in one weekend right um, look at that 100 out of 100 for a rank math Yay! okay create your website in one weekend so if i go to well if I go to edit, okay, uh, let me just move over here. Uh, hit the cross on that. Here we go. Require membership. Here, there is no tick because I want everyone to see this page. You don't have to be a member to see the page that tells you about the course, right? So nothing is ticked. And remember, the page was built in Elementor as well. Now let's go to the actual course page. So this is access to create your website course. I could have been a bit more imaginative with my names, like, come in, but I didn't. I'm just a bit ridiculous like that. Okay, let me just go to edit. And if I now go down here, you have to have paid for the create your website in one weekend course to access this page. Pretty simple. Just like for the supercharger website course, you have to have paid for that to access that course. And I would have ticked it. I could have multiple members, I could tick both of these if I want. I could have 10 memberships and go, I don't care what you got, you can all access this. Or I might say some of you can't. And the great thing about this, Paid Membership Pro, okay, I'm now just gonna edit this page with Elementor. And here is the page, right? Built with Elementor. So once you've paid for the course, you can now access this content. And look, look what I've done here. We've just got a header, text and this is an accordion Ta -da! and i've used one of my previous videos where i've added in some cs oh i clicked out of it 
where I've added in some CSS code just over here. And what that says is that code there, it's in one of our videos about um, hide, stopping the first accordion of an accordion from opening up. Just a tiny bit of CSS code which stops it automatically being open. I have an accordion, okay, and the idea is, is that when you click that accordion, it's gonna bring, you probably can't see it, but you see there, it, it brings back that short code. That short code is from Presto Player. In Presto Player, I have created my videos. Okay, and basically all it means is that is, um, uh, so I've got Presto Player, I've got about 60 odd videos. Okay, I just create a video, 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 and then put the short code in. And now when you're viewing this live, in fact, we can probably do it live like this. Oh, it's gonna, ooh. no, yeah. So when you're viewing it live, you will then see those videos. And basically that's all I've done all the way down here. Video, 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 short code, and I can set it up how I want. What was really, really good about doing it this way was in some of my accordions, like uh, this one here, I've actually embedded, I put a bit of short code in, and I've embedded an entire PDF. They can download it as well if they want, hit that button there. But now you have an entire PDF. Look at that, that's like awesome. You know, um, like, uh, there's tons of information here. And you know, you have videos on Elementor, adding to your homepage, you know, stuff like that, free templates as well that they can have access to. But it's all within Elementor. I mean, I, I'm, I'm trying to get this over with the fact that Paid Membership Pro just allows me to set up my membership level, cost, payment gateway, and then with Paid Membership Pro, you get everything you need in terms, well, I'll come on to it, with the membership, the reset, the login, the profile page, all of that. But the beauty of that is, because that is just membership for what you can or cannot access, the presentation of the uh, the course, it's up to me. I mean, all right, this isn't amazingly amazing in how it's set up. The reason being is because on the mobile, it looks really clean in how it is set up. And it means that, you know, with the accordion, you click it and you'll see the relevant content and whatever. But it just works. It just works really well. And if I go back into admin, right, if I go to pages, here's all the pages that you get given to you when you include paid membership pro automatically. Membership billing, membership cancel, membership checkout, da -da 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 -da, all of these pages. And you can go in and edit them. You can go in and like, you know, um, you might say, okay, I'm going to edit the look of this page a little bit, add a bit more further content to it. You can do all of that. And it is, it's light, it's simple, doesn't bloat your website, doesn't force you to have to use extra features that you didn't want. I mean, Tutor LMS, hats off to what they did, but the page that um, advertises your course, there's only so much you can do with it. And then the actual page for when you go to your profile, there's this massive banner and a Gravatar image. And I said to the developers, how do I change that? Use CSS. I went, okay, great, but is there an example? Use CSS. So I had to go in and mess around and I spent a day on it and I could not get it to look the way I wanted. Da, 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 da. Now you can do whatever you want. Pay Membership Pro, free. Presto Player, you don't have to use that, I use it, you don't have to use it. Um, you know, BunnyNet, I use it, you don't have to use it because you might have videos and you might be happy um, sticking, they might be small enough to just upload into your media library or you might have them in a another secure location like Wistia, I think it is, or Amazon or um, uh, whatever else you wanna use. So it's entirely up to you. I'm not telling you how to create a membership site I'm just showing you that here is a free plugin where you have full control and power with Elementor. I feel like He-Man. By the power of Grayskull! That was rubbish, wasn't it? Hey, like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.